Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for August 13th through the 19th. This is for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now my readings are typically love readings. We will see whatever comes up. If you can make it apply to your work, then so be it, or any other area of your life. But I focus on love. Again, um, the timing is fluid. I know I say that a lot. This could have happened, may be happening now, or could be happening in the future. This is just what I am picking up on today for the sign of Aquarius for the week ahead. The Fool. <laughs> time for me to fly. It's time for me to fly. It's time for me to soar and leave the baggage behind. This is taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, a new beginning, a new life. Things are probably changing very quickly for you. Death reversed, okay, so this is like uh, holding on to something that's getting old. That's what this is. So here's a new beginning. These are like totally contradictory. This is, it's time for me to fly. This is something has gotten old. So you're holding on to a dead end situation or you have. Something has been, it's getting old, doesn't serve you. It needs to be released. I don't know what it is. You do. Oh, the sun. Wonderful. So four cards, three of them are major. Major arcanas. Three out of four. Major life changes right now. Divinely guided major life changes are happening in your life, Aquarius. Big time. What's happening is trying to bring happiness, trying to bring growth and renewal into your life with the sun card. You should be starting to feel better at this time. You know, even your health might be improving. Your vibrancy, your, your, your vibration may be raising, okay? Because it looks like you're you're becoming more free spirited, okay? So, but there's still something that you're holding on to that needs to go. There is, there is, or this would be upright, all right? <laughs> the devil, wonderful. Temptation. Maybe it's addictions. Maybe you have some addictions. This is also a card of ego. You know, see, they're chained together. This is, you can release yourself from a toxic situation. You can fly. You can, you can. But it's up to you to do it. You have to free yourself from your own demons. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Zoe. Go lay down. Sorry, she just drinks like a pig, so I had to have her stop. Um... This is a naysayer, the Page of Wands. This is somebody that is a negative Nelly, Debbie Downer. You could be dealing, because this is communication as well as fast movement, and dealing with a Debbie Downer, somebody that brings you down. Negative. Here we have the Queen of Coins. This is about stability, security, structure, devotion. Devoted to being happy, bringing back structure to your life, but you still got to release something, okay? This situation, you got to release this negative, it's, this could even be negative thinking. You're dealing with either a negative person who is bringing you down or it's your own negative thinking. Ooh, ah, <laughs> this is you, the star reversed. This is negative thinking. You may be lo losing hope. Okay, that's what you're holding on to. You're holding on to this negative thinking and you, you don't have the, the right amount of hope and faith. Your thoughts truly do become things and I'm here to remind you that that if you think negative, then that's what you will call into your life. 
You have to think positive. There's a lack of hope and faith here. There's a lack of inspiration, lack of peace of mind. And that is a demon. That is a demon. You need to let that negative thought process go. You need to fly. You need to, you need to just be, don't bring that past baggage. That's baggage. It is with you. Take, find the faith. This is faith. This is lack of faith. Find the faith, please, to take big risks in your life. The fool takes risks. The Knight of Swords. You know, the Knight of Swords is, is very fast paced, and this is fast paced as well. Eight of Coins Reverse, not putting in enough effort, not working hard enough to release the negativity, to release, they're mirroring each other. Eight of Coins Reverse is not putting in effort, not working hard enough to release the negative. Whether it's a negative person or a negative situation or it's your own negative thoughts, you're not doing what you need to do to restore your hope, your hope in humanity, your hope in, and you guys are humanitarians. You're letting your demons or another demon or even addictions or I don't know what it is control you. They have control right now. And you need to put yourself first like this Knight of Swords does. This Knight of Swords doesn't care about, he puts himself first. He has to. I'm going for what I need. I'm going for what I want. Get the hell out of my way. That's going to take effort to put yourself first. You know, we've had this talk many, many, many times, Aquarius. You are a humanitarian. We already know this. Everybody knows this. But if you don't put yourself first, nobody else is going to. Do you get that? Do you understand that? Once you put yourself first, other people will as well. Okay? I mean, that's the bottom line here. You could be dealing with another person that's not putting in any effort, okay? And, and that's bringing you down. Somebody's not putting in effort. And you need to bring back the structure and the stability to your life. You need to be practical and put yourself first at this time. Once you do that, once you get practical, you put yourself first, happiness will come quick, quick. Oh, I was going to put, I was just going to say, we're going to clarify the devil card. And we get the devil. Son of a bitch. You know how I like to swear. Okay, but now it's reversed. The devil versus the devil. Control versus taking back control. Holding on versus release. Toxicity versus releasing the toxins. That's what this is. It's your choice. You have the ability to take back control and free yourself from these demons, these thoughts, this whatever it is that you're connected to that doesn't serve you. This is restoring control, taking it back. I'm taking back. I am freeing myself from this shit. From this toxic connection, whatever it is, it's a toxic connection. Now we're going to clarify uh, the death card reversed. I'm just going to say it. The five of swords. Somebody has a lot of pride. Been brought right to their knees by another situation. There's been a lot of power struggles. There's been a lot of conflict with letting go that last remnant, whatever it is you need to let go of. It feels like you've been hurt. Really, really bad. 
and somebody somebody doesn't even care. Somebody's like proud of it. They're proud of it. They don't care that they hurt you. Why the hell are you holding on to somebody that doesn't care if they hurt you? To hell with that shit. I mean, look at his face. I don't know if you can see it in that camera. He's like smug. He's like, ha ha, I got away with it. I got all these swords. Smug son of a bitch. You're holding on to it. I was going to clarify the Queen of, of Pentacles and I got the world reversed. This is feeling empty inside. Feeling lost. Needing closure. Unable to complete this phase, this cycle in your life. Next to the Queen of, of Pentacles, you have to be the boss. You have to get down to business. You have to find the discipline within you to complete this cycle. And it is going. She's very disciplined. You have to find the discipline to step over that finish line and this cycle. That's advice for you. If you want this ultimate happiness, the sun is ultimate happiness. You have to find the discipline, the strength, and the practicality to do the right thing for you. You are involved in a situation that isn't, isn't happily ever after. Whatever it is, there's a lack of romantic growth or romance growth or relationship growth. You know, you could have dealt with somebody who swept you off your feet and had no follow through, you know. It all looked good on paper. Very secretive person. You're dealing with somebody who's secretive, doesn't want you to know everything. Could be a third party situation. And, you know, maybe they, they want to have their cake and eat it too. <laughs> eat yours too. Eat all the cake. Anyway, I feel as though you've made some compromises here. But there's too many family feuds. There's too many fights. You know, maybe, maybe you know, you 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 need to move, or you need, or somebody else needs to move, or you're you're worried about what you're gonna lose. You're worried about what you're gonna lose financially. You're worried about the assets. I don't know if you're married, that could be the case. But there's definitely a lot of fighting, and there's a lack of commitment at this point. It's like, yeah, I'm committed to you, but not in my heart. Okay. So maybe that's the way it is with somebody. You're dealing with somebody who's com who you know isn't committed to you fully in their heart. Could go the, that way. Eight of coins with the ten of cups reversed. Somebody is in a relationship that is very unhappy. There's arguments. Somebody's wanting to, to end it. Somebody is with these 10. Somebody wants to complete this relationship. They want it done. They want it over. But they don't want to put in the effort. And they don't want to lose any assets. That will resonate for some, not all. It's not about the assets. It's about happiness. It's about happiness. Maybe somebody staying in a situation because they think that they can't take care of themselves. Well, I know a little Aquarius that is doing fantastic. And, um, you know, she's been through a lot, a lot. And she has, she's, she's done everything in her power to get her own place and, and everything. And she's moved recently. And um, she's a queen. She is a queen. And her life is about to get better real fast because she has found the strength to overcome obstacles in a relationship that wasn't working. And I think the relationship is in two arenas. I think one was her work and one was her, her love life. She stepped into fear. Okay? 
She faced her fear. And now she is going to be rewarded for that. I know she is. So I'm just here to tell you that you have to replace fear with faith. Face the demons. You have to love yourself first. Self-love brings true love. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but this is this queen. I think a lot of you are taking on this energy or will be coming really soon. This is compassion. This is uh, calm, intuitive, healing, mastering your emotions. That's where you're going. You're going to a place of healing. But you need to follow your intuition. She's the most intuitive queen. Your intuition is leading the way. Do not deny it. Many of you are stuck in a situation where you're sacrificing your own happiness. And it's time to look at life from a new perspective. A perspective of self-love. New perspective, self-love. Because you're in a situation that isn't, isn't fulfilling you. It's not, it's not what you want. It's not giving you the love that you want. It's not. Something's missing. And you have another opportunity. There's the Ace of Cups and here's an Ace of Cups waiting for you. But you have to get creative. You have to be confident and you have to be the boss and you have to take the lead and you have to do the right thing for yourself. You have to be noble to you. You have to defend yourself, Aquarius. It's time to defend yourself. Because you have a golden opportunity waiting for you. Waiting for you. If you're in this situation now, and you're in a, in a relationship, by the looks of things, with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Coins reversed, a commitment or a relationship that is very, very unhappy, and I don't, that is the damn truth. There's lack of wish fulfillment. I mean, that this this is you. Reverse. The star is represented by Aquarius. Reverse. And that is lack of wish fulfillment in your life. You have to find the strength to face those demons. And take action. To be, start over a new beginning. Elsewhere. Within a year, you will have a golden opportunity. If you are already free... This golden opportunity could come within a week, a month, or a year. Everybody's different. It has to do with your healing. It could be next summer, okay, that you find this because that's when you put in effort. You get the golden opportunity. When you put in the effort, <laughs> when you put in the effort, you get the opportunity. So that is the truth. That is the, that is the truth. So anyway, probably by next summer, for those of you that are free. So for the little Aquarius that um, I love, probably by next summer. And she knows who she is. Anyway, um, but for the rest of you, you know, that are still stuck, could be within a year. Could be next summer. It depends. I mean, you have to free yourself. The... That is the damn truth. You have to free yourself. You have to. To get the right opportunity that you can take to the bank. But you're going to have to take risks. And not let your pride get in the way. You're going to have to take the lead. That's what I have. Talk to you later.